game begin. Welcome to the game store. It has been an insane past couple days here, and we're hoping for the same. So uh, I got a pretty cool trade to show you right here, but also stay tuned for the video. We got a new piece that we're gonna add to this game store to make it even crazier. Right here is a great trade. Uh, the, the thing about this trade is it's super eclectic. There is a little bit of everything in this and it's almost all good stuff. So you got a PS2 fat, which PS2s do not last anymore. They go so quick. That is good to go. It's good. What do you think? You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, he likes it. We got X-Files, we got Metal Gear Solid with the red, uh, with a reg card, which is good. We got a bunch of Game Boy games. Check this out. Metroid Fusion. Got a little Duke Nukem. Again, just ones you don't see. I don't ever see those two games. I've never seen this in my life. A uh, Little Mermaid 2 Pinball. Maybe that's a hidden gem. I don't know. A couple CIB NES games. And then a bunch of Switch games. Layton's Mystery Journey is brand new. Don't see that one very often. And then a couple PS2 and GameCube games right here. So a nice little trade to start the day. Who's your new helper, man? Dude, I got the best help. I got Ro here with me today. Look at that. No holes in the amiibo you did area. That, dude? Thumbs up. Huh? You too. All right, we gotta go. The, we gotta do the other side. Let, let, let's see your muscles. Can you pick it up again? Let's see it. Ready? Oh Excellent. my goodness. All right, where are we going now? We're going back over here. Oh, over here? To the expensive ones? To the expensive ones. Uh -huh. Okay. Why do we keep things in the glass case, Ro? So, so they're like safe. Safe from who? Robbers. <laughs> oh, yes! Robbers! Smart kid. He is He's a He's ready to own the store. Shoplifter! <laughs> How's it going, YouTube? We just got this trade. It's the first time I've seen this for a cone. I don't think we've ever seen it as Why is it so smudgy? So smudgy? You took that, you paid money for that? You paid money for that, it's all smudged? Well, we haven't bought it, oh. so that's the thing. It's just coming. Okay. It's dead dead. I'm waiting for to test it to see. Well, Christina's actually going to test it for us. But this is the first time I've seen a uh, Vita what Slim. Is it? it is a uh, Vita, but it's the Slim Edition. So I I truly don't know. Have you have, have you run in a Vita Slim one time? I don't know if I've seen one, and I don't think they're necessarily rare. They're not much more ex expensive in comparison to the regular Vita. Yeah. But he said he found it in his closet, and I believe him and like on. two. Well, it's charging. It's oh, dead. Okay. Dead. It's been stashed in his closet since. I, I've 2020. always said the Vita is super underrated because I believe it was the first handheld OLED screen. OLED screen back in like 2014, yeah. 2013. Crazy. And here we have the Switch OLED, barely catching up in 2020. Come on, with come many, on now. With many smudges as well. Hey, your crazy boss has something cool. Let's go see. We gotta go get it. All right. He's been super secretive about this. I have. All he day knows. Long. Ro, don't say anything, dude. Ro knows. Ro. And you haven't told me yet. Well, he's not telling you. What is oh, it? Oh, Ro, I know come it. on. Open it up. What is it? All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my. Working? Functional? Oh, this is The biggest awesome. freaking NES control in the world. Let's get it set up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So what we are looking at is a uh, homemade NES controller, and it fully. is fully functional. We're missing the A or the, I don't know what happened with the letters. Not 100% sure, but it does have, so here, you can hear the clicky. You hear the clicks, hear the clicks, start, select. Um, he also said this is serviceable. So you can, you can like adjust the tension on the, Ooh, on the buttons. Okay, good. So there's that. Good. It does have LEDs in here. Let me see, I don't know. He did say they're like right in here. Oh, I don't Surely know. Surely they gotta be powered on. No, he was really. He, he showed like batteries. Me, he showed me with batteries. Ooh. So it has a Raspberry Pi in it, so you can you know play all different kinds of games, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, I, we're thinking it's probably gonna go over there in the corner. I think we need to raise it up up some. I think so too. I think it's gonna have to be a little bit higher. So we'll probably adjust that. Is that gonna be hard? You think? No. Not no. too bad? Okay. Piece, piece. 
Easy peasy. Okay, I guess uh, it's four foot. It's four foot wide. So yeah, it's pretty dang cool. And we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see what we can get. So let's do it. Next day, uh, because we fiddled, I, I say we, Michael fiddled with the uh, NES controller for quite some time. God, look at my foot. It's a big controller. Okay. What's the update? So yeah, uh, basically it's all trashed. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it needs a lot of work. The, ro uh, the Raspberry Pi needs to be replaced, okay. and then like some of the switches down below have got to be replaced as well. So yeah, we she's gonna need some TLC. We need some TLC. We can't get the down button to work. Select. Select doesn't work. Select doesn't work. Down doesn't work. Ninety percent of the time, right button works great. Okay. But uh, that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, that won't be super fun it's for me. It's not people. great. So you yeah. just run, 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 yeah. and then fall off. So we're going to do some modifications to it. We're going to get a, an A. Yeah. We're going to get an A. We're going to try to fix the, uh, fix the buttons. And then we also need it lifted. We yes. need it more like around this height, probably. So we're going to fix that as well. And you're going to add some legs to it. Yes. We'll make sure she's looking fine. All right, so there's that. I did want to show you guys some of the trades slash what's going out right now. So this is all the stuff that is about to go out onto the floor. We got a bunch of Wii U, we got some special edition. I've never even seen this guy and he's pretty valuable. So there's that, uh, a decent amount of PS5 going out today, all of the PS4. And then this is all GameCube, check this out. Second Sight, Fantasy Star Online, and then all of these GameCube games that don't have, unfortunately, the cover, but they are loose in this. I don't know if I've ever even shown this. This is how we put out games that are loose. And then some of the heavier, so you got Pikmin 2, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, the Collector's Edition of Zelda, and then a couple others. And then these came in yesterday, a bunch of Super Famicom CIB games. So those are pretty sick. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's been a... They're going to the floor, so if you see go. something that you want, you they'll better put, hurry. Put it out. So it's been a fairly busy day. Uh, again, we're still in spring break, and it has been just crazy. People are traveling from out of town, which is good. But we will show you... Oh, actually, I actually have another trade I need to show you. What you doing up here, lady? Oh, just cleaning sticky stuff off of games. Yeah? Is this therapeutic? No. Oh? You're on camera right now, right, by the way. Hello. <laughs> So she's cleaning this, <laughs> sorry, she's cleaning this trade, as I break things, Skyrim, Minecraft, the show 22, with, I believe he is the highest paid athlete, or his like uh, contract was like a bajillion dollars or something, I think so, anything else cool, oh yeah, these, check out these guys, Oh yeah, that's right. this is pretty Terrifying. rare, super scary. ain't it super scary, as my wife said, <laughs> Silent Hill, Shadow Memories, never even seen this on PSP. This guy had two. He had two scary games. He loved it. He loved the scary games. These are a bunch of PSP. I will say, I'm pretty proud of our PSP uh, selection. We have quite the few PSP games. And yeah, did I ever tell you that I hollered at a girl, babe, through a PSP? Like literally used my PSP to, to uh, Facebook message her. But guess what? Didn't marry her, married you. That's All right. right. That's right, okay. <laughs> Now that is a very 2000s, 2000 thing to message somebody on a PSP. Well, you messaged me on Facebook, so it's only like one step up from a PSP. The PSP is pretty weird. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough about that. Doing a quick sweep through the store. Look, we are full right there. Look at the GameCube glory all the way down. Handhelds on handhelds. The PS3, PS Vita stuff is looking good. Look at how beefy the PS2, PS1 stuff, and oh my goodness. We are looking good everywhere in the store. And before you guys say anything about how well, your videos are so old, it doesn't even really matter. We are currently up to date. Like these videos we are shooting and they are going out like a day, maybe two days later. So this stuff is freaking available. Contra, Metroid, Metal Storm, all these boxed CIB NES games, all of these beautiful Pokemon cards, guys. The store is full. Come and shop with us. All right, dude, so the Mike Tyson Yo. fight is coming up. Yeah. Did you hear about it? I do. It's like uh, this summer, I think. July 20th, Logan? I think. Not Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. The question is, Mike Tyson is still a beast. He's still a huge beast. How much 
How much would someone have to pay you to fight Mike Tyson? I want to know from you guys down below. Would you fight Mike Tyson? He's old. He's got to be what, like late 50s? He's still. Like, I don't know. I'd fight him for free. I'd Okay, Joe has said free. You guys tell us down below. Free? How much would it cost you? The honor to have been able to say that I got in the ring with Mike Tyson. That, not, that's not a bad. To survive five seconds of it. It's not a bad. It's not. It's not. I don't know. Bad. No. How much? How much? Let's see. May, Twenty million, maybe. Twenty mil. Okay. I want to. I want to <laughs> go in there. If I'm gonna risk death with Tyson, Ooh. I better not have to work very much for the rest. Yeah, of Yeah. I would say I would do it for five. Five million. Five I'd get in the ring for five mil. Man, you, you, uh, he can kill Subpar you. YouTuber fights Mike Tyson. I would do it. A, a, an old lion is still a lion. Three, 20 mil, five million. Would you get in the ring with Mike Tyson? Paid off my mortgage. Oh, that's like not that much. That's not okay. that much. Well, guys, that's it for <laughs> that's today. The that's it for today. Um, so long to the largest a Nintendo controller that has ever been created. Hopefully you will work soon. That is it. Never stop 